Kan shalom akam. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka Kadash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, who teach and rule well. And shalom to the sincere Akim, Spanish truth and sincerity. Shalom. In this video, I want to go into this article on endtimeheadlines.org, which goes into you know, uh, Russia and Iran basically creating a better bond with one another, which, to be told, you know, this is actually fulfilling, you know, part of biblical prophecy, man, because it talks about in the scriptures and to be precise in Ezekiel chapter 38, you know, how Russia, you know, with these other countries basically will form this alliance and this friendship and basically back them up, you know. So the title of the article reads, Pentagon says there is a deepening cooperation and relationship between Russia and Iran, which before Iran was being named Iran, you know, it would all, was also being named Persia. It says a partnership between Russia and Iran is allegedly deepening according to the Pentagon. In a press conference on Thursday, Deputy, Deputy Pentagon Press Secretary Sabrina Singh responded to a journalist's question regarding a recent meeting between leaders of the two nations. So I can't speculate on, you know, on that visit. I would say that I think separately, we've seen a deepening cooperation and relationship between Russia and Iran as Russia continues to engage in its unlawful war in Ukraine, said Singh. <clears throat> so it says, so you know, we've seen, seen the deepening partnership. We have seen Russia continue to seek weapons out from Iran. While I can speculate on what this visit entails, you know, we've seen these visits of leadership, it's like a leaders, happening over the course of the last two years, Singh added. Russia has recently promised missile support to Iran after a visit by a defense minister to the Middle Eastern nation. Singh clarified in terms of how this plays, you know, in the Middle East, into the Middle East, look, Iran has a choice. I think we've been very clear in our messaging when it comes to the defense of Israel. We are going to stand in the defense of Israel just as we did, you know, on April 13th. The United States had recently expanded its presence in the Middle East, sending U the USS Abraham Lincoln Carrier Strike Group to the region. So, um, you know, Russia forming these friendship or partnerships between certain countries, or Russia being involved, you know, in, in certain countries with defense, with the military and things like that, you know, or things related to, to military uh, relationships. It's actually biblical prophecy, man. So I want to go into that part where it talks about that. And it says, um, Ezekiel chapter 38, verse 1. And the word of the Lord Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Gog, the land of Magog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, and prophesy against him. And Gog and Magog, you know, is actually referring to Russia because if we would look at the ancient maps, in these ancient maps, it would actually belong to Japheth, which Japheth, you know, are the so-called Indonesian people or those that have those Indonesian roots. But since Japheth is not inhabiting Europe like that no more, you know, it is referring to those that are actually inhabiting those places right now. And that is actually referring to Russia. So Gog and Magog, it was actually a reference made, you know, to, um, to Russia. Verse 3, And say, Thus said the Lord Jehovah, Power, behold, I am against thee, O Gog, the chief prince of Meshech and Tubal. And I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaw, and will bring thee forth and all thine army and all thine army, horses and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, 
even a great company with bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords. So we know that Russia has not been really you know, militarily active for a long time. But we do see that there's more and more military presence, you know, standing up, you know, and, 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 and rising from Russia's side. And that's actually the Heavenly Father putting that warlike mindset, you know, back again into the Russians, man. You see? So that's the involvement, you know, of the Heavenly Father, you know, in Russia, man, bringing them back again to that, to that warlike state. Verse 5, <clears throat> Persia, Ethiopia, and Libya with them, all of them with shields and helmets. So Persia, you know, is, is referring to Iran, Ethiopia, Ethiopia, and Libya, you know, is a reference to the country that is in the northern part of Africa, man. You know, it says all of them shield and helmet. Then, you know, when you go into the news, you know, I for sure know that there have been um, Russian presence in Libya. You know, I don't know specifically about Ethiopia, but we do see right now yet again that there is a relationship being built between Persia, which is Iran and Russia. You see? Verse 6, Gomer and all his bands, the house of Togarma of the North Quarters and all his uh, and all his bands and many people with him. This is referring to Turkey, man. You know, Turkey is um, the place, you know, that is being referred to as Gomer, man. You know, same to, to Garma, you see. So we see that there's actually an alliance, you know, that is being formed between these countries, man. Let me see if I can find something on uh, Russia, Turkey, Libya. Um... And I ran, let me basically put in all these. Something here, let me see what it is. Yeah, so right now I have this um, this article in front of me from Atalaya Entre dos Orias, which I don't know where it actually comes from, but it's an article on uh, it's an article on um, both Russia, Turkey, and Iran, which reads the great game of the revisionist powers. It says, um, Russia, Turkey, and Iran are states that have an expansive geopolitical vision and understand that the best way to guarantee their internal stability and regional balance is through control of the surrounding geographical spaces. This is a conception of security that is rooted in their history and based on disagreements with the distribution of power in an international order that they consider unjust, but which they are not comfortable with. All three are sovereign states, but they also maintain a high degree of mutual independence due to geographical proximity, regional competition, and convergence of interests. The problem arises when the spaces that each considers to be within its sphere of influence coincide with those of its neighbors, <clears throat> leading to competitive or cooperative behavior in scenarios like the Black Sea, the Caucasus, or Central Asia, as well as North, as well as North Africa or in the Middle East. You know, so you see that these names, you know, are propping up together, man. <clears throat> Let me see if I can find something else in the same article. Yeah, man. 
So it says uh, commonalities between Russia, Turkey, and Iran. When we look at these three powers and compare them in geopolitical terms, Russia is more powerful. That's also why the Heavenly Father basically set them up and you know, mentions in um, Ezekiel chapter 38, verse 7, Be thou prepared and prepare for thyself, thou and all that company that are assembled unto thee, and be thou a guard unto them. So basically it's Russia that is supposed to be basically protecting and overseeing the affairs, you know, when, when the times, you know, are coming that uh, these wars are escalating, man. Why? Because then it's going to be Russia being the stronger, you know, being being allied by these uh, little bit weaker nations, man. But still binding, binding the forces together. It says, its ge geographical size is 10 times that of Iran and 20 times that of Turkey population of 140 million is much larger than that of the other two countries which are only uh, 85 million each in economic terms too russia is richer than the other two countries with a gross domestic product in terms of purchasing power three times that of iran and one and a half times that of turkey if we look at the military aspects and discount attrition caused by the war in ukraine Russia's armed forces are equivalent in quantitative terms to those of Turkey and Iran combined. Russia's military industry is also much more powerful than that of the other countries. Although Turkey has been growing strongly in recent years and has some areas of specialization in which it is a technological leader to its own. You know? So, yeah. Let me see what I can find on Russia and Libya. Russia, Libya, relations. So this is on. Um, This is on agenzinova.com, which reads, um, Russia strengthens its military presence in Libya and also intensifies relations with Tripoli. So it says the Russian Federation increases its military presence in Libya and maintains strong relations with both rival governments in Tripoli, West and Benghazi East. A high-level Libyan polit political and military delegation traveled to Moscow. See, so we see that Russia's influence is there in Libya as well, man. You know? So that is basically what is, what is happening upon this earth, man. You know, um, you know, certain countries are basically uh, becoming allies with, uh, with Russia, you know, and therefore, you know, fulfilling biblical prophecy, man. You know, because Russia, like I mentioned already, you know, the scripture says that basically the Heavenly Father is bring, bringing them back in that warlike state of mind, you know, which they have not been in that for a long, long time. You know, but right now to fulfill biblical prophecy, because eventually it is going to be Russia, you know, to eventually, you know, bring in the end, you know, of, of this current society, man. Because Russia is going to shoot missiles as well, man. You know, they're going to shoot missiles towards America, you know. Just like it mentions, you know, in the uh, in Revelation, man, the feet of the basically the feet of the bear, which the bear represents Russia, and basically represents the end. You know, the end is gonna come through through Russia, man. You know, when uh, when when the when these uh, thermonuclear, you know, war is going to be fought. You know, so yeah, hey, you know, with that, I do hope and pray that this video was edifying. And with that, I want to give all praise, on, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakadash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, who teach and rule well, and fellow one to the sincere Akyom, strange truth and sincerity.